All right, everybody, thanks for joining us. We're going to run through the cornerbacks today, and we're going to get, go ahead and get started with Coach Poti, and uh, we'll start with questions for him with Jesse. Hank, what are some of the technical things you've been teaching the corners that are perhaps different from what they learned previously? And in general, how do you want those guys to play? Well, I've just been trying to build a foundation. Um, and just we started from scratch with our press technique, um, just emphasizing uh, slower, slow tempo at the line and uh, be able to use our hands. You know, I want to be physical at the line of scrimmage, be able to uh, challenge wide receivers and um, force them to earn every yard um, that they get throughout the game. So, you know, that's been my main focus of, you know, being a little more physical and, and, and challenging wide receivers more. Jeff? Hank, when we talked to you shortly after you got the job, you said you'd been studying a lot of film, trying to get a feel for what was in the room. You thought you had talent. I'm mm -hmm. just curious what you have learned in working with them hands-on now that you didn't know just by looking at tape, like some of the guys that you've gotten a chance to really get to know a little bit? Um, you know, I, I just feel like there, there was just some things um, that I had to build from the ground up, like I said, foundation-wise. But I thought, um, I think I have a really good group. They, they, they really pick up on what I'm trying to teach and uh, they do a good job of, uh, you know, really um, studying the game, coming in and trying to to, to understand the, uh, the 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 skills and the technique that I'm trying to teach. So, you know, I really I, again, I still like this group. I think I have some athleticism in there, and uh, I'm just what I've tried to do is continue to work on the mindset because before you can even get to the technical part, you know, the mindset being out there on the island, you have to really have. Uh, the mindset to compete, no matter what the situation is, no matter what happens, being able to play through that uh, is, is all about that mental toughness. So I'm, I'm, I'm big on working the, the, the mind, the mental part of the, the game. Colton. Hank, Paul had some good things to say about Dean Ingram and Alexander Smith the other day. What have you seen from those two guys? Younger guys are starting to really start to move their way up into the, the rotation in that corner. Well, I think they they ready. They want to get on the field. Uh, I think they they've been doing a good job of handling the load. Both of them, uh, since Fayon has been limited, they both have uh, taken on the the role of playing corner in nickel. So you know they they're doing a good job of retaining the information and understanding uh, where they fit within the defense and you know they, they, they're starting to pick up the techniques and understand how to read the the, the receivers and um, you know I, th I think they're doing a real good job for us they they, they playing hard and uh, those are two of the guys I would say are really tough mentally you know being in that position um, just challenging receivers being able to play guys in the box uh, receivers off the ball and, and then be able to now transition and go back outside. So, uh, you know, I really like what I see out of those two young players. Steve. Just wondering, when you look back at the film of what the cornerbacks did last season, what have you all been trying to emphasize this spring for this upcoming year and in, in what ways the corner get better? Well, again, um, playing physical, playing, comp competing every play. Uh, I know one of the things also is just trying to get more takeaways um, when the ball's in the air, just having more of that mindset to, you know, get in position once I do the, a good job at the line of scrimmage and then play through the move area. And then now I'm in a deep part of the field to, uh, to attack the ball in the air. But also, you know, just overall, just having that awareness and the, that football IQ of the feel and flow of the game. So, I mean, there's a lot of things um, from the cornerback room uh, that we have to, to work on, but I think we made a lot of good strides. Go ahead, Jake. Hank, you know, kind of a compare and contrast where, you know, what do you see from someone like Caesar Williams and his role and how he's been a veteran and upperclassman within uh, that room? And, you know, compare that to someone like Al Ashford, you know, a mid-year enrollee, just getting his feet wet in the college game. How are you seeing him develop at this point as well? Um, 
Caesar has been to me a true vet. He's been really uh, consistent. Um, he's been really uh, responsive uh, to the, the 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 techniques and the things that I've uh, added to 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 the room. And I really think he's been a, a consistent player. I, I really like what I'm seeing out of Caesar. Um, Fayon Hicks, he is the leader of the room, and I think he has done a good job of uh, helping the younger guys, such as Al, uh, understand um, some of the things that we try to do as a, a team, like what, what we're looking for as a, as a player in this secondary. I think Al has done a good job of seeking out the help of the older guys, as well as coming up and watching film with me. So, you know, I, I like what I see out of Al. He's a young guy, so he has a lot to learn, but uh, he has a lot, of, a lot of potential. Back to Colton. Hank, we've seen Amon Williams really battling for some receivers, and then on Saturday he had a nice interception in one of the team sessions. Where is he at in his development? And a guy that was – I know he came in as a walk-on last season, but just where do you think he's at? Um, where does the next step for him? Uh, he, right now, what I like out of uh, Amon is he's a competitor. Love his mindset. Um, he, 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 he takes it really serious. He comes up every day. He always asking questions. Um, he, he's running on his day offs to, to, to make sure he stays in shape. And, uh, you know, I, I think he's going to do a good job of competing and helping, making sure that the other guys aren't, aren't um, complacent with where they are, but uh, really like where, where he's at right now. Back to Jesse. Hank, Jim Leonard was in charge of the, the corners and the safeties last year. Mm -hmm. Can you share what the transition has been like? What types of conversations do you have with him and picking his brain and just how that how that goes on a day-to-day -day basis? Um, really for us is more so scheme where, you know, he's just trying to help me get caught up on what ske the scheme. Early on when I first got here, it was more so talking through uh, the personnel and what my players look like in the room. But uh, when it comes to just me coaching the players, I mean, he pretty much let me do what I do. You know, so our conversations has been more scheme and, you know, occasionally I'll talk them through some of the techniques that I'm teaching. But, uh, you know, we've, 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 I feel like we, we've done a good job of, you know, staying connected and being on the same page. When we still meet together as a full unit, um, and there's times where we'll watch some, some seven on seven or one on ones together, because he, again, he wants to hear my coaching points and some of the things that I'm teaching. All right, we'll wrap things up for Hank with one more from Jeff. Hank, under Jim, the, he, he wanted his corners to play physical. It sounds like you want them to play physical, compete for the ball. No corner ever thinks he gets a legitimate pass interference call against him. And, and the guys were open about one game last year where they thought they didn't get the benefit of the calls. When, how difficult is it these days for guys to play physical corners, attack the ball, and make a play without having a flag thrown against them? Uh, it's difficult, but you know that's not going to change the mindset. You know, I, I, I again, um, everywhere I've been, um, you know, that was one of the things that helped us. Uh, play at a high level is because of that mindset competing you know I'm not gonna let up we you know I'm, I'm not gonna let up and again I want to go into a game and make that receiver earn every yard possible but I, I'm not gonna play soft and uh, you know that ball in the air I'm, I want to attack it but it, it all starts with the mindset and what I do at the line of scrimmage and then take it from, from there but if I can get into a good position because sometimes guys, they're playing physical, but they're not turning around looking for the ball. Um, and that right there, even though I'm in good position, I don't look around and I'm making contact, you know, those calls are not going come to come to us. So, 
want to make sure that's why it is all a progression, the fundamentals, understanding where am I in relation to the receiver? Am I in phase? Am I out of phase? Can I turn around and, and, and um, locate that ball? So, you know, those are all the steps that we have to do to make sure that um, we're in good position to, to be able to play physical and attack that ball in there. All right. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate your time. Thank you.